Now, you mentioned Amber Heard on the stand and Camille doing the cross-examination. Was that a strategic decision to have her to do that? Yeah, she's a wonderful lawyer. Um, we had split the deposition of Ms. Heard. I had taken two days. Um, Ms. Vasquez had taken one. Frankly, I thought her examination was far more effective than mine. Um, and so it was an easy choice for her to do the cross. And I think she did a masterful, and I'm very proud of her. Was she nervous at all? I'm sure she was, but she hit it well. I mean, she, you know, we just told her, take your time, enjoy this. And I think, I think she did. I think she took a very big responsibility and she, I think she hit it out of the park. Was there something that stands out to you about that cross-examination? One point in particular, we said, oh, I think Ms. Heard just dug herself into a hole. There were several, I think, and, and mostly what, what we were setting out to do in the cross was to use her own words. In other words, not try to trick her, um, not try to demonize her, as has been suggested by um, the other side, but to take her own statements and confront her with those. We played a lot of the audios in which she's telling Mr. Depp, I didn't punch you, Johnny, I just hit you, which is a distinction that I think confused a lot of the jury, uh, the, di the difference between getting hit and getting punched. I think from Johnny's perspective, it's really the same thing. So that kind of thing, I think those, confronting her with her own audio tapes, I think was, was an effective technique because, again, um, there didn't appear to be a lot of accountability or recognition of what everybody was hearing. 